Buzz saws ready? Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? Warhammer 40,000, Orc Mega Knob with Buzzsaw. These things are killing me. Killing me. Let's check out the box. code in case you need it. Backdrop, Warhammer stand. All right, accessories. He comes with the leaf blower of death that goes on his back and the jaws of life that go on his chest. All right, snaps in here. Hopefully it'll hold better than the big mech orc did. Oh yeah, that, well, came out pretty easy, but it's solid. I don't think it's gonna fall out. This goes in here, I believe. Well, I don't see any slots for this, but I'll assume it just pops in. Okay, so I was looking at these little knobs right here, thinking they had somewhere to go, but actually I didn't see these tabs here. There are two slots to the left and right of his head and those go in there, and those sit on the outside. So I thought I was doing something wrong, but I'm lining it up perfectly. The slot here is too narrow, and now that I'm comparing it to the one on the left, this one is much wider. So this is a QC issue from the factory. So if I hold it right there, you can see that this slot is thinner than that slot. That's why I keep getting this side in, but that side will not go in. It doesn't fit. It just does not fit in there. All right, buyer beware. So that jaw piece is not actually on there. I literally played with it for about seven or eight minutes. Couldn't get it in. So just for the purpose of review, I stuck it in there but as you can see, this side is not even lined up, doesn't fit in there. So it's probably gonna fall off. So if I do the rest of the review without it, just forgive me. Let's go ahead and bask in this Polar Design jaw accessory piece glory. Keith Lee. So when I pre-ordered these, I didn't realize that they were using the same body mold. So everything's the same except some of the deco and the heads, and of course the accessories. But as far as the arms, legs, um, the bottom half is exactly the same. They just changed a little bit of the paint, but there's no differences there until you get down to the forearm weapons, the backpack, and the head. So no need to go through their articulation. I'll link to the review for this big guy. So that way you can see his articulation, but everything else is exactly the same. So you can see here, they just changed out this chest plate. Armband here is checkered. There is red. That's the same. Then you just have the different arm pieces and their different backpacks. And the back, of course, waist sounds the same. You got the same tubing. They just, um, this guy, they colored one of the tubes red. And actually the base of the backpacks are the same. Hold on. And there goes his jaw. Yeah, so the backpacks, the bases are exactly the same. They just changed the top piece. All right, McFarlane getting that reuse. I see you. A little disappointing. When I saw them and pre-ordered them, I thought they were different sizes. So I was excited to army build and I thought one would kind of be a little bit taller than the other but they are basically just alike. 
Not bad, but I'm just a little disappointed. All right, I'm gonna have to exchange this because I'm hoping it's just mine, but this will not stay on. So close up with the paint job. This guy's got two staples on his forehead. Our paint job here is clean. Got this copper mesh. And somebody tell me what that symbol stands for. Then they move the white checker pattern from the foot to the knee pad for here. Let's give it a little differentiation. This buzzsaw is killer. Too bad they don't move. And you got another buzzsaw on the other side. Let's see if their backpacks are swappable. I think they have the same. Yeah. You can swap out the backpacks. That one actually fits better over there. So must be the holes on this guy. And this one fits better over there. Oh, look at that. So you can't swap it out. And actually, <laughs> you know what? They actually look better switched. Hey, Warhammer guys, tell me. If I switch these, what does that do? Does it switch allegiances or troops? I, know, I mean, the lore is deep. But I actually like the backpack switch on them a little bit better. That copper sets off that copper there, and the red goes to that red there. Fashionable orcs. So you can't rotate his buzz saws. Yeah, you get oop, full 360, comes off. Same for this one. Uh, they come off for some reason when you rotate them. I take this claw from the big work mech. See how it goes over here. Ow, man, come on. Lord, this thing does not want to stay together. Ooh, interchangeability. It looks good with that swapped out claw. All right, the Orc Meganov. This guy is 90% reuse, but he's still gonna look good on the shelf if you're trying to army build. Uh, what don't I like? The fact that this jaw does not work. No, it didn't stay onto the whole review. That's probably the fifth time I put it back on. I'm probably gonna glue it rather than go through the problem of exchanging it. Backpack is tight enough, but it could be a little bit tighter. I just wish that there were some more differences between this and the big orc mech that came out. Maybe a little bit more paint back here. Just something to differentiate it. The bottom half, like I said, is totally the same. They could have added some rust color or something, but you know, all little complaints. This guy looks good. Let me know what you think in the comments. And hey, my Warhammer guys, I love when you guys come in the comments and educate me. Tell me more about this guy. Why are they so much alike? Are they friend or foe? Do they work together? Let me know what the deal is. Big plus, the accessories are swappable. So the arm weapons and the backpack, they do fit between each other. So you can swap them out and do different things for your shelf. Let me know what you think. All right, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this link with another friend that likes Warhammer figures or just McFarlane figures in general or any action figures at all. Till next time, big green guys out of here.